dear PlayStation fans. I need you to please leave this video if you thought this state of play was good. I generally want you to leave it because I have nothing, nothing good to say about this PlayStation state of play for September the 20th. Forth. As I recap these games, I want you to understand something. I love PlayStation, but PlayStation has completely lost their fucking way. I, I'm going to be really honest with you. PlayStation, because they have no competitors outside of Nintendo, and Nintendo don't give a fuck, they will always and have been doing some real fuckery lately from concord to the ps5 pro to this shit playstation has been fucking up so to me i have nothing but nothing kind to really say so please do not stay on this video if you're expecting a positive great video of me breaking down and going over all the games that was announced. Because I have nothing good to say. Because PlayStation didn't give me anything good to say. For this state of play. This is by far the weakest state of play. It was 30 minutes of wasted potential. And 30 minutes of boring shit. I'm done. I'm, I'm tired. But as we begin. Just keep in mind. That a lot of the games that they showed off was either updates, remasters, or DLC for games, or announcement for games that we already knew. So, please join me as I break down all this shit. I don't think I'll be going into order of, of when all the announcements hit. But I'll try and stay as focused as possible. There will be timestamps if you just want to hear me talk about a particular game or a segment. Without further ado, let's begin. And to kick things off, Astro Boy is getting DL, free DLC. Alright, it's getting free DLC. It's going to have a time travel, time trial that you can play your friends with, um, battle each other for the best online score. That's cool whatever and it's going to be 10 new astrobots and one of the astrobots is eve from um, stellar blade cool that's fine that's the that's kind of the highlight of the game for me is generally just seeing the characters in these robot forms that's cool but i'm not a huge fan of this game but i understand why people like it it's just not for me but it comes out in the fall. Speaking of Stellar Blade, and I'm just going to pop it right in here. Stellar Blade has uh, free DLC uh, or DLC coming for it. It has uh, photo mode, which now you can look up Eve's ass and shit and take sexual fucking pictures all you want now. And the soundtrack is available on Spotify and wherever you listen to your fucking movies at, music app. And then the only cool announcement about that was that the near team, near Automata, is going to have a collaboration with them. That's cool. Considering that's cool, but I have one, one huge problem with that. It's a no-brainer it was going to happen. Um, Yoko Taro has went on record to say that he loves Stellar Blade. And he thinks it's even better than Nier Automata. Which I think he's fucking smoking crack. But whatever. I'm still waiting for the PC edition of the game. And I have no interest in Nier Automata. I mean, in, in Stellar Blade. Until the PC edition comes. So we're just going to move on from that. Midnight Walk 
At first, when they showed this off, I was nervous as fuck. But then they said you can both play it. You can play it out of the VR or in the VR. It works both ways. Cool. Great. Still not interested. Moving the fuck on. Hell is us. I could give two flying fucks about this game. Um, it just looks like Death Stranding, but with Souls elements. Fucking can't stand how people, all these developers want to just make Souls games. There's no longer the need to do hack and slash or character action games anymore. Because all developers are doing is just doing these Souls imitations. And none of them feel interesting. None of them feel unique. I haven't been interested in any of them. Not even Wukong. None of them. Not one of them. So fuck this bullshit. Don't give a fuck about this game. Fuck it in his ass. Could care less. Metro. Metro Awakening. Don't care. It's a VR game. The VR games. The VR does not sell. PlayStation has already admitted that it does not sell, so I could give two flying fucks about uh, Metro Awakening. Oh, and by the way, uh, the Hell Hell is Us is not even a PlayStation exclusive. I believe is also coming to to PC and Xbox Series S and x so it's not exclusive not even time exclusive so it is what it is arcade chronicles this was the only thing next to the biggest announcement that actually piqued my interest it has online capabilities it's an online um action rpg and it looked interesting but again, it's not even coming to just PS5. It's coming on Steam and Series S. So it's not even time exclusive. It's not console exclusive. So again, it is what it is. It looks cool though. So I'll give them I'll give them a point for that. Moving on. Power World is finally available for PS5. Aren't this company getting sued by uh, my Nintendo? Uh I guess, I guess they need that money, so they was like, fuck it, let's put it on the PS5, so we could get that PlayStation install base, so we can get some money to get us out of some legal problems, but yeah, I don't give a fuck about this game, again, this is a game we already fucking knew about, a game we already knew about, who gives a fuck, fuck this game, Luna Remastered Collection, I've heard nothing but positive and I know a lot of the RPG fans are losing their mind. But I hate to break it to you. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. Because they already announced on their Twitter and in many other places that this is also coming. That this is also coming. To Xbox, Switch, and PC. Don't give a fuck. So, as much as PlayStation has tried to set it up as like, oh, this is like uh, one of our old classic games and whatnot. This is one of the best of the best. It was a classic from the place, uh, from the PlayStation One era. I'm like, that's cool. But as soon as I heard it was on the PC, I'm like, don't give a shit. Moving on, point number two, the Sonic Collection. The Sonic, sorry, not Sonic Collection, Sonic X Shadow Generation DLC will have exclusive missions based off of Sonic the Hedgehog 3 movie. And the cool part is they have Knuckles. I mean, they have, not Knuckles, they have Shadow being voiced by Keanu Reeves, who's voicing him in the movie. That's cool, 
that actually made me really excited for the game now because I didn't know this. And yeah, so I'm looking forward to playing uh, Shadow X Generation. That's cool. Ninja Turtle is getting a free DLC and is out now. Uh, you get two new fighters so you can play, have fun, all that bullshit. Again, announcement two of these, the last two announcements I just said are games for DLC and games that we already knew about. So fuck this shit. Neo, uh, Fantasia, Neo, uh, Dimension. This was shown on play on on Nintendo's Direct, and it is coming out December the fifth, and it's done by the creator of Final Fantasy. Once again, cool, but. Yeah, we already knew about this. And then this is where the show just really... Uh, once again, the show was already deepening in quality, but this shit, this shit fucked it up even more. Dragon Age Veldar. Now, let me make something very clear. After watching the newest previews of the game, I have had more of an optimistic look on this game. I can generally tell that they're trying. So, I can generally say... I have faith that this is going to be a good game. I have faith. I'm looking forward to playing it. I'm looking forward to trying it out. Because it really does look good. Having said that. Having said that. How they're showing off this game is so piss poor. So piss poor. Like, Jesus Christ. Like, this shit was so horrible. How they show it off. They're fighting a dragon and you're using a fucking mage. And it just looks boring. It looks boring. Maybe in the full game when you get full context of what's going on. It's going to be epic and cool. But this shit was fucking boring watching it. I'm like bro. And this is once again. Shooting themselves in the foot. This is another time where. You know. Bioware decides to show this game off. And. They're showing it off in a weirdest way, and it just does not look appealing at all. This is why I'm not surprised people's turning on it. Other than the whole culture world bullshit about the fucking uh, scar tissues and whatnot and bullshit. I ain't got time for that bullshit. No one cares. It comes out October. I believe October the 30th, uh, 31st. By the time this game comes out, I will be away. So, sadly, I won't be able to try it. Um, Alan Wake 2 DLC. Didn't play Alan Wake, but I need to play Control in order to understand Alan Wake 2 from what I gathered. So, no. Uh, I don't give a fuck about this. And again, games we already knew. Another game we already knew. Again, Dragon Age and Alan Wake 2. Both games we already knew. So, it's like... The same much. Hitman VR. The Hitman World of Assassination. On VR. I mean. Once again. Why are we wasting time on VR? Fuck this nonsense. VR is not important. VR is not cool on a PlayStation. PlayStation barely promotes or does anything with VR. So fuck this shit. Now. Point number Three, Legacy of Kane, Soul Reaper 1 and 2 Collection. Now, I love Soul Reaper. Or in particular, I love Leg Legacy of Kane. I own all the games on the PC. And I have watched my aunt and I have even played all the Soul Reaper games. So I'm so happy that they're finally doing something. I was so elated when I saw this announcement, I almost thought about doing backflips. However, and this is a key fuck up, this game was leaked online, so I already knew this shit was coming. The leak fucked the whole announcement up. So I woke up, went on Twitter, first thing I saw, Legacy of Kane Soul Reaper 2 collection. I'm like... Well, there goes my excitement for this today. That would have been a cool announcement. But 
now it is it is what it is i'm i was watching i was just like oh this is cool but i'm like i already saw this this morning someone leaked it fucking dickheads but it is what it is comes out december the 10th uh i also believe is also going to be on pc uh and this is made by the same team who did um hmm, the tomb raider collection so i'm assuming you'll be able to turn on and off and on the visuals which would be fucking awesome but yeah it's also coming to PC and consoles. So again, not time exclusive, not exclusive. What are we talking about here? Not, it is what it is. Not impressed. I mean, I like the announcement, but it is what it is. Then Tomb Raider, then fucking Lego Fortnite. Uh, it's getting update with split screen. Don't give a fuck. However, however, I will say this. I super don't give a fuck about their controller. All right. That shit just looked like a kid drew on that shit. Fuck that controller. Waste of time. And while we're at it, those fucking um, silver uh chrome controllers fuck those controllers too all right fuck those controllers fuck are we using those controllers for when there's no fucking games to play on them fuck playstation and and this whole controller collection what are we xbox motherfuckers only xbox niggas get excited for fucking controllers fuck is this shit dumbass shit moving on dynasty warriors origin it's Dynasty Warriors. It looks cool. I'm not playing. I'm not paying seventy dollars for no Dynasty Warriors game though. When that shit comes down to twenty bucks, if it ever comes down to twenty bucks, I'll get it or I'll play it. But I don't give a fuck about no Dynasty Warriors. The fuck? Dynasty Warriors always is the same game, but button mash to victory. No skills. No no deep combat scenarios. Nothing. Like, what are we talking about here? What are we talking about? Seriously, what the fuck are we talking about? Oh, and it's coming on PS5, play, uh, PS5, Xbox, and, and fucking PC. So again, what are we talking about? Seriously, what the fuck are we talking about? Not absolutely nothing. And then I, I was just like, Capcom, I'm getting sick of tired of your shit. Point, another point. Monster Hunter Wilds finally has a release date. February the 28th, 2025. I'm getting this. I'm hype. It's Capcom. If Capcom delivers me turd, I buy it. Let me stop. <laughs> if Capcom comes and asks me to sacrifice my kids, I would do it. It's Capcom. I love Capcom. Fuck you. Don't... If you tell me I'm a Shaq, Capcom shill, good. Fuck you. But no, all just aside, I think they're showing too much of this game. I think they've shown too much. They don't need to convince us. Just shut the fuck up now. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. All right, the game looks good. I'm getting it day one. Stop showing this shit in every single fucking place, bro. Could care less about this. Tie these two into in together, Lego Horizon Adventures and Horizon Zero Dawn Remaster. Waste of time, waste of energy on both. I'm not going to sit here and be like one of those fuckers on Twitter that be like, well, Horizon was never this fucking cool and was never this popular. And why does people like Horizon and Horizon? I don't ever see anybody like Horizon. Horizon is actually, at least the first game, I really like. I really love the concept of Horizon. However, Sony just went fucking ham on this fucking franchise. And I am just like, what the flying fuck? 
I'm like, out of all the games you could have done a Lego game for, you did Horizon. I'm like, what the fuck? It comes out November the 14th. I'm like, all right, that's waste of time. And but uh, sh- but not as bad as fucking the remaster for Horizon Zero Dawn. This shit was leaked a while ago, and I was already pissed. But just to see that they did this shit fucking has me irritated as fuck. Fuck this shit. This is dumb. This is stupid. Out of all the games they could have remastered, out of all the games they could have spent money on, these guys fucking chose to do Horizon. What the flying fuck? And and I'm so sick and tired of this bullshit. I'm so tired of this remake culture over at PlayStation. Let's re-release games that already look fucking great and that you can play it on the PC and it runs even 10 times better on the PC. What the fuck is this point? The only good news I can say about this is that if you own the PS4 version or you own any editions of this game, even on the PC, you get a $10, have to pay like $10 to upgrade. Cool. But fuck this. Oh, fuck this. Fuck this re-release. Fuck this. Fuck this remaster. This is stupid. PlayStation is wasting fucking resources and time into fucking bullshit. Get the fuck out of my face with this dumb shit. Then we're going to go into the PlayStation October games. And the upcoming PlayStation Plus service games. I gotta say. I actually like the October list. So, for all members of the PlayStation plus subscription service any all members you'll be getting doki doki literature club plus it's great if you don't know anything about it i like this game this game is fucking awesome go check it out but then of course and this one i encourage you all to check out dead space remake really good loved it it's really, really, really great. Another great example of how a remake, you take a, a, the classic and remake it and give it a reimagining. This game is it. Just as much as Resident Evil 4, and it's just as much as um, Final Fantasy 7 Remake. These three are like the pillars of like great reimaginings. I would say 4 is higher. Uh, But we're not going to get into that discussion right now. So that's your October list. Oh, and also WWE uh, 2K 2024 will be free for all PlayStation Plus members. Then, in September the 26th, if I'm not mistaken, Last of Us Day, obviously, is coming. And for that, they are giving you for PlayStation premium and extra members you're getting that game for free i'm tired of looking at last of us it's giving me fucking real uh, irritation so it is what it is but it's free if you still haven't purchased it so basically you wasted your money if you spent the fucking money to go get it here's your chance to play now The last but not least, the coolest announcement was for all premium members, you will get some two games from the classic collection, which is uh, Blood Omen Legacy of Cain. And this one's huge for the Capcom fans. This one's huge. Dino Crisis. Now. If you're Dino Crisis fans, you owe it to yourself to fucking download that game and go play it. If you ask for Dino Crisis in any shape or form or manner, you owe it to yourself to download that game and play. I already own Dino Crisis. I have the the Dino Crisis PC version. 
and the mod that goes with it then the i think it's the nexus mod or that makes the visuals 10 pop 10 times more but if you have always wanted to play dino crisis now here's your chance go fucking play it don't want to hear no bullshit and that will do it for all the game's announcements now i have one more announcement before i get into that game let me just start off by saying once again playstation is fucking horrible at promoting the ps5 pro these motherfuckers got up on screen had fucking fucking mike cerny come up and with his soft fucking voice talk about earlier we showed off the ps5 pro and now we're going to show you even more of the ps5 pro and once again fucking failed to show us anything original or cool about the ps5 pro once again this fucking console is useless i'm keep a full fucking tired of sony and their bullshit trying to try to convince people to buy this console and they've done a horrible job but of course motherfuckers are like oh well they did the, the 30th anniversary collection ho 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 it's in the fucking it looks like a ps1 a ps1 Oh, 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 oh. so now i'm gonna buy it what the fuck are, are you smoking sh are you smoking shit out your ass are you fucking are you fucking shitting on my dick are you shitting on my dick are y'all really that fucking naive to just go buy the shit just because they have a a, a, a playstation one themed pro version get the fuck out of here this conference once again with ass on showing us how how that shit works once again ass this is the second conference where they done a poor job how is it that digital foundry is able to fucking explain the difference between final fantasy rebirth on a base ps5 to the ps5 pro what the fuck are we smoking over there at sony this is poor marketing. They're not even trying to hide the fact that they just want your money. Fucking horrible. They just did a whole montage. I couldn't even fucking tell the difference on any of those games. Because they did a poor job again at showing the difference. Get the fuck out of here and they could kiss my ass with that fucking bullshit, bro. Once again, I'm not getting this shit no time soon. Not getting it day one. No point. But to end this on a good fucking note. They had one and the only PlayStation exclusive announcement that genuinely had me fucking hype. Ghosts of Tsushima 2. Or better yet, Ghost of Tsushima uh Yote or Yos Yoto or Yote. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ghost of Yote. Ghost of Yote looks fucking sick. This is a day one cop. I love Ghost of Tsushima. All right. I love Ghost of Tsushima to death. It was my game of the year, the year it came out in 2020. I love Ghost of Tsushima. And it. It really was the Assassin's Creed game I've been waiting for. And now that we're getting a sequel, I don't want to play with you no more fucking Assassin's Creed Shadows. You could get the fuck out of here, which is, is very telling because as soon as this announcement came, fucking <laughs> Ubisoft announced that Assassin's Creed uh, Shadows is delayed now till next year, February of next year. So they know what Big Daddy was coming. They knew Big Daddy was pulling up to the crib. And Big Daddy came through. Fucking Sucker Punch came through. At the last clutch to save PlayStation. This shit looks amazing. I love the idea. And this shit is straight up Assassin's Creed by the way. I love the idea. Because they said it in a blog post. That... They're not focusing on the, on the characters. They're more focused on the idea and the myth and the, the legend of the ghost and what the ghost represents. Almost like the creed and what the creed represents. And I'm like, whoa, 
I didn't even think they were going to go that far. But I'm excited. And it's supposed to be a revenge tale. Uh, which kind of probably explains why this character has like a um, words um, on a scroll. And every kill, she's like marking the um the blood of her victim on the scroll bro I, I, i'm in this shit day one cop fuck you talking about get the fuck out of my face if you think this shit ain't gay one cop this is gonna be epic i know there's a little controversy a little bit with between the fucking drip grifters and uh, fucking culture war bullshit with the voice actress. I don't give a fuck. I care about that gameplay. And I know they gonna bring the fucking heat. This game is gonna be lit. The, the aura. The aura. Just just the aura. Just this one scene where she's just standing in uh outside of a, of a door frame. And you just feel that game of the year. Game of the year. The only good game that they showed throughout this whole fucking conference that was fucking sick. That generally had me hype. Again, I ain't gotta say nothing much. All I gotta say is we peaked. We peaked at that moment. We peaked. Oh, uh, and th I also forgot this game. Uh, Tower of Agatha or Agatha? Agatha? Hold on. Towers of Agazba. I totally forgot about this fucking game until this now. Isn't this the fucking. Oh, that's the Animal Crossing fucking game. Fuck this game. I'm so tired of these fucking Animal Crossing hybrid games. There's so many of them now, and they all do not pique my interest at all. Fuck this. Fuck that game. And I already talked about the crone, and also fear, fear the spotlight looks cool. It looks like a PS1 game, a uh, PS1 horror game. Pretty cool. I'll probably get it. I'll probably check it out when it comes out. But other than that, this was the worst, worst state of play. Absolutely the worst state of play. Only game that was interesting was Legacy of Kane. But again, Legacy of Kane is a game, is an old ass game. So again, don't give a fuck. Um, Arcade fucking Chronicles, dope, cool, looks like something I could get into with friends, but that's about it. Uh, everything else was either games we already fucking knew that was coming, or remasters of old games. Nothing brand new and spanking, nothing we haven't already knew that was coming. Everything else was a fucking waste, and Ghost of, Ghost of Yanum was the only cool shit if it wasn't for sucker punch this shit would have been a downer and this is pisses me off because playstation has not been doing good they have not been succeeding they have not been making you feel like greatness is a weight like if anybody who's a true playstation fan i can't imagine how you would look at this and think that this was a cool conference I, I, I just can't remember. I can't sit there and and be blind and sit here and say this was a great conference. Like, yeah, this was generally the worst conference. This was the time for PlayStation to really come out and say, hey, I know you're scared. I know we've been making some questionable decisions, but I guarantee you, no, I promise you that the future of PlayStation it's looking very bright. But right now, it don't look that bright. It looks kind of mid. And the only game that they had that's not even coming out this year, and it might get delayed, is Ghost, Ghost 2. So again, 
what are we talking about? What are we really talking about when we talk about PlayStation? PlayStation has no real games, nothing but re-releases, and nothing but um, remasters. What, what are we talking about? This is all ass, ass, ass. This was an embarrassment of a showcase. PlayStation should be embarrassed. And anybody who thinks this, play, this showcase was good, and I'm generally saying good, I really need you, you to get your eyes checked because this shit was garbage. This was the worst PlayStation event. And PlayStation should be embarrassed. PlayStation should be embarrassed. Because how you, how you have the shittiest conference but yet and everyone's shitting on xbox but yet xbox had the best conference this year despite everything at least i walked out of xbox like you know i i enjoyed it you know fucking fucking nintendo i didn't like the nintendo direct but i was like well it's all we all know they're getting ready for the switch 2 next year so again, what are we really talking about with PlayStation? They showed us absolutely nothing to get excited about. Nothing. None of these games besides the two I just mentioned, three with Legacy of Cain. Actually two, if we're talking about new, possibly three, was exciting. I don't know. As a PlayStation fan, I'm not happy. I'm extremely annoyed, extremely disappointed in PlayStation. And they need to get their fucking act together. Well, all that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, please comment, rate, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Let me know. What did you think of the PlayStation State of Play event? Comment below. Let me know. And as always, new videos are coming soon. It's your boy, Mr. Generate, signing out. Have a good one. Peace the fuck out. And fuck you, PlayStation.